We must have the courage to reach for our goal. The path we choose may not be the one most frequently traveled, or the one that seems right to anyone except ourselves, but that does not matter. Wonderful child to bring up. Curious, creative, warm. She was so incredibly fun and funny. She was a very sharing person. She was a very outgoing person. She just was so alive and was the most incredible competitor, but competitor with herself. Anything that she was going to do, it was just get it done. Full of light, a fighter, and survivor. I'm a cancer survivor. 13 years ago, at the age of 23, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. She was in chemo and radiation treatment for two years. She was surviving and needing all these other ancillary, as important services for 12. Some of survivorship is really a state of mind, and it's deciding that you're gonna live every day that you have to the fullest. Once you get out of treatment, you realize that there's a whole host of issues that nobody has prepared you for. Meg really started trying to build, I guess, her own roadmap to then share with other people so they would never have to start from zero. We're celebrating survivorship. We're celebrating the fact that there are 11 million cancer survivors in the United States now, and that's an amazing number. Somebody does become a survivor upon a cancer diagnosis. Whether you're surviving for four minutes or four days or four months or four years, you are a survivor. When someone is, is given a diagnosis of cancer, it just really turns their entire life upside down. We look at everything as a whole. It's not just Mrs. Jones who has breast cancer. It's Mrs. Jones who um, unfortunately has breast cancer, is coming to our center for treatment, is married, has two children. You know, there's a whole package involved with this person. It's not just a disease. As the survivorship navigator, I do more of the supportive counseling aspect of things. I help with community resources, help patients and their families after they've gotten done with treatment to kind of get on with life and figure out what the new normal is. We have the patient here in the middle and then we have this whole team of people around them to help them out. And the physician's one of them. And my job and Lee's job is to make sure that all those people in the team get what they need to be able to help that patient and their family. From Mark, our valet, to Phil, our patient ambassador, and Lee and I, we're a team. We're here to greet the patients when they come in and do whatever it is that they need. Um, we have other people on our team. We have the cafe, we have our boutique. We have the American Cancer Society who helps to support our resource library. It is a huge team. It's when the patient walks in, we don't want them to feel like they're alone. Our program is unique in that we are there for the patients and their families through the duration. They need to come back for counseling because of physical issues or emotional issues that come up later. We're there. People walk in the door and they look at this place and they can't believe it's a cancer center and they're smiling. They have their treatment and they leave and they're smiling. And that says a lot for what we do here. Meg believed, and my family believes, that all of the resources made available through a survivorship program, those are going to be the resources that enable you to live your best life. All of us have been touched by cancer, either in our own families or among friends. If I were to get sick, if I were to get cancer, I would have someone there to help navigate me through. Meg will still live on forever because we're able to have this fun, to be able to provide information to families to help to support this cancer center and the programs that we have here. 
I have a phrase that I always say, and it's, we are to each other. And I guess that's what it is. We saw her go through this, and now we want to make it easier for somebody else. The way I look at the survivorship fund, it was a reflection of the way that she lived her life and a way to promote that legacy. I believe that you may die, but your spirit lives on. I am a, a daughter, a friend, but really more than anything, I am a survivor. I'm a cancer survivor. This is who I am. We must all have the courage to continue to learn, not just from books, but from all of life's experiences. We are so fortunate because we can see that rainbow and that sunset and those stars up there just waiting to be reached. We just have to have the courage to go out there and reach them. Thank you very much.